come out of prison? Was it hard to readjust back to back to society? Boy, I was I was in such a culture shock. Mystical has been known for his energetic performances and chart-topping hits, but in the past few years, he has been battling with several legal problems. In an unfortunate turn of events, Mystical got hit with the third sexual assault case. 21-year-old Michael Tyler, also also known as Mystical, was arrested on multiple charges, including first-degree rape and domestic abuse battery. Although this is not the first time Mystical has faced such serious allegations, as he has a history of sexual assault charges and has been to prison a number of times. This time around, Mystical's situation is undeniably alarming. Tonight, Mystical sits in the Ascension Jail accused of charges that could put him away for life if he's convicted. He is currently in jail with little to no chances of getting out. Is the third time really the charm? Will this be the end of the road for Mystical to Kyle's home? Mystical Sentence Story in the quiet suburbs of Louisiana, a horrifying incident unfolded within the walls of Mr. Kyle's home. It is here that the embattled rapper stands accused of committing a brutal act of sexual assault. According to the victim, whose identity remains protected, Mr. Kyle's rage erupted after he accused her of stealing money from him. What followed was a harrowing ordeal that would leave her physically and emotionally scarred. In her chilling account, the victim describes how Mr. Kyle's anger escalated to a point of no return. He allegedly unleashed a barrage of punches, choking her with an iron grip, and violently yanking out clumps of her hair. The sheer brutality of the assault is difficult to comprehend, as the victim found herself trapped in a nightmare she couldn't wake up from. The allegations made against Mystical paint a disturbing picture of the events that unfolded on that fateful day. According to the victim, Mystical forced her to pray with him before he allegedly raped her, claiming that he wanted to get rid of any bad spirits before committing the heinous act. Prosecutors have further alleged that Mystical was under the influence of drugs during the incident, adding another layer of complexity to the case. The woman, who remains unidentified, claims that the assault took place in Mystical's Prairieville home. The incident allegedly occurred after Mystical accused her of stealing $100 from him, leading to a confrontation that quickly escalated into a horrifying ordeal. The victim alleges that Mystical assaulted her, pulling out her hair and using physical force to keep her from leaving his residence. He also took her car keys and cell phone, effectively trapping her in a terrifying situation. Eventually, the victim managed to escape the House of Horrors and sought refuge at a nearby hospital. It was there that she found the strength to reach out to the the authorities recounting the unspeakable acts she had endured. Her courage in speaking out against a powerful figure in the music industry cannot be understated. As investigators delved deeper into the case, they uncovered disturbing evidence that painted a grim picture of the alleged assault. Clumps of the victim's hair, torn from her scalp during the violent encounter, were discovered at the scene. A broken fingernail, a testament to the struggle she endured, served as a haunting reminder of the trauma inflicted upon her. But the horrors within Mystical's home didn't end there. As investigators combed through the premises, they made a shocking discovery. Xanax, heroin, and marijuana were found, suggesting a potentially dangerous environment that further adds to the gravity of the situation. The severity and range of these charges highlight the gravity of the alleged events and the potential consequences Mystical may face if convicted. The victim's claims, coupled with the alleged circumstances surrounding the incident, have shocked the public and intensified the scrutiny surrounding Mystical's case. The details of the assault, including the forced prayer and the alleged use of drugs, add a chilling dimension to the the already disturbing allegations. Mystical's current legal predicament is not an isolated incident. The rapper has a troubling history of sexual assault allegations that have followed him throughout his career. In 2003, he pleaded guilty to charges of sexual battery and extortion, resulting in a six-year prison sentence. It was a dark chapter in his life that saw him stripped of his freedom and forced to confront the consequences of his actions. After serving his sentence, Mystical was released in 2010, hoping to turn his life around and rebuild his music career. However, the shadows of his past can continued to loom over him. In 2017, he once again found himself facing charges, a hauntingly familiar accusation. Yet this time, the charges were eventually dismissed due to a lack of evidence. It was a temporary reprieve for Mystical, but the specter of his past lingered. Now, with his recent indictment on a first-degree charge, Mystical's future hangs in the balance. If convicted, he could face life imprisonment, a sentence that would undoubtedly alter the trajectory of his life and career forever. The stakes have never been higher for the embattled rapper as he prepares to face the justice system once again. Mystical's legal history raises important questions about accountability and the potential for rehabilitation. Can someone with a troubled past truly change their ways? Are they destined to repeat their mistakes? These are complex issues that the justice system must grapple with as they determine the fate of Mystical. Mystical's current situation is one of uncertainty and tension as he awaits his day in court. Since his arrest in July, he has been behind bars without bond, unable to escape the confines of his legal predicament. The weight of the first-degree rape charge hangs heavily over him, threatening to shatter his career and potentially condemn 
condemn him to a life behind prison walls. In the face of these grave accusations, Mystical's attorney, Tiffany Miles Crosby, has come forward to defend his client. They assert that the indictment holds no real significance and that they eagerly anticipate the opportunity to present their case in court. Their unwavering confidence in Mystical's innocence is evident as they dismiss the charges as baseless. The attorney's response raises important questions about the nature of the justice system and the presumption of innocence. They remind us that an indictment does not equate to guilt and that Mystical is entitled to his day in court, where the truth will be sought and justice will be served. As this high-profile case unfolds, the eyes of the public are fixed on the Ascension Parish District Attorney's Office, responsible for prosecuting Mystical. The outcome of this trial will have far-reaching implications, not only for the rapper himself, but also for the broader conversation surrounding sexual assault and the accountability of those in positions of power. Both the Ascension Parish District Attorney's Office and Mystical's attorney have been reached out to to give their comments on the ongoing case. Their responses, or lack thereof, will undoubtedly shape the narrative surrounding this case and provide further insight into the legal strategies employed by both sides. The road ahead for Mystical is uncertain, and the consequences he faces are severe. If convicted, he could potentially spend the rest of his life in prison, forever altering the trajectory of his career and personal life. The weight of this impending trial looms large, leaving us with many questions about the future of this once celebrated artist. The potential outcome of Mystical's case carries significant implications for his life and career. If convicted on the first-degree rape charge, he could face life in prison a sentence that would undoubtedly have a profound impact on every aspect of his existence. From a professional standpoint, a conviction of this magnitude would likely spell the end of Mystical's music career. The tarnished reputation and the association with such a heinous crime would make it nearly impossible for him to regain the trust and support of his fans in the industry. The once vibrant stage presence and chart-topping hits would be overshadowed by the dark cloud of his conviction. On a personal level, the consequences would be equally devastating. Life imprisonment would mean a permanent separation from loved ones, the loss of freedom, and the daily struggle to adapt to the harsh realities of prison life. Mystical would be forced to confront the consequences of his actions and grapple with the weight of his choices. The impact of a conviction extends beyond the individual, affecting the lives of those connected to Mystical as well. Family members, friends, and collaborators would be left to navigate the aftermath, grappling with the shock and disappointment of seeing someone they know face such severe consequences. As sad as this sounds, this isn't Mystical's first or second rodeo, as a matter of fact. In 2003, Mystical's life was forever changed when he pleaded guilty to sexual battery and extortion charges. The incident involved Mystical and his bodyguards forcing his hairstylist to perform oral sex. Initially, Mystical claimed the encounter was consensual, but a videotape of the incident was found at his home, leading to his guilty plea. Negotiations during the trial prevented the videotape from being entered as evidence, and Mystical agreed to a plea bargain offered by the prosecution. This plea bargain allowed him to avoid the mandatory life sentence for sexual battery in Louisiana, with the expectation of receiving probation. However, the case took a shocking twist during the sentencing. The judge, after viewing the incriminating videotape and considering Mystical's two prior arrests for drug and gun possession, decided to remand him into custody immediately. Mystical was sentenced to six years in state prison, serving the full duration of his sentence. While incarcerated, Mystical's legal troubles continued to mount. In 2005, he faced federal charges of failing to file tax returns for 1998 and 1999. He was convicted in federal court in 2006 and served a one-year sentence concurrently with his state sentence. Mystical's release from custody in 2010 marked a new chapter in his life. He attempted to revive his music career, headlining a concert on Mardi Gras and releasing new tracks. However, his comeback was short-lived as he found himself entangled in further legal issues. In February 2012, the world of music was rocked by the news of Mystical's arrest. Following a dispute with his domestic partner, the rapper found himself on the wrong side of the law once again. He was subsequently charged with domestic abuse battery, a misdemeanor offense that would have far-reaching consequences. After being detained for nine days, Mystical was was released on bail, but his legal battles were far from over. On April 16, 2012, he received a three-month jail sentence for violating the terms of his probation, which he had been given following his release from prison in January 2010. This sentence was a direct result of his actions during the aforementioned dispute. However, there was a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness. Mystical was given credit for the nine days he had already served, reducing his confinement to 81 days. It was a small victory in the face of a looming prison sentence, but it provided a ray of light for the rapper 
Harper. On May 14, 2012, Mr. Cole began serving his sentence at the East Baton Rouge Parish Jail. Behind the prison walls, he faced the harsh realities of confinement, but his legal battles were not limited to domestic abuse charges. While incarcerated, he made appearances in court for the domestic battery charges and also for a hearing to determine child support payments for his two youngest children. It was a tumultuous time for Mystical, as he faced the consequences of his actions both inside and outside the prison walls. Finally, in August 2012, Mystical was released from jail, marking the end of this chapter of his life. It was a moment of relief and reflection for the rapper as he emerged from the confines of the prison system. However, little did he know that more challenges awaited him in the future. Just when it seemed like Mystical had put his past behind him, tragedy struck once again. In August 2017, the rapper found himself in the clutches of the law once more. This time, he turned himself into the Caddo Parish Sheriff's Department after a warrant was issued for his arrest. Charges he faced were far more serious and shocking, rape. The news sent shockwaves through the music industry and his fans alike. Mystical was held at the Caddo Correctional Center, where he awaited his fate behind bars. The gravity of the situation was evident as his bond was set at a staggering $3 million. It was a stark reminder of the severity of the charges against him. For over a year, Mystical remained in custody, his future hanging in the balance. The legal proceedings were arduous and complex, as both sides presented their arguments and evidence. But on February 14, 2019, a glimmer of hope emerged as Mystical was able to post bond and regain his freedom, albeit temporarily. The legal battle, however, was far from over. It would be over a year until the charges against Mystical were finally dismissed. On December 17, 2020, the rape charges were dropped due to a lack of evidence. It was a bittersweet victory for the rapper, as he was relieved of the burden that had haunted him for years. The dismissal marked a turning point in his life, but the scars of the legal battles remained, forever etched in his story. Just when it seemed like Mystical had overcome the darkest period of his life, tragedy struck once again. On July 31, 2022, the rapper was arrested arrested in Ascension Parish, Louisiana, sending shockwaves through the nation. The charges he currently faces are nothing short of shocking and alarming. Mystical is now facing a series of serious charges that include simple criminal damage to property, false imprisonment, domestic abuse, battery and strangulation, simple robbery, and first-degree rape. The gravity and severity of these charges cannot be overstated. If convicted, Mystical faces a mandatory life sentence, a fate that would forever alter the course of his life. The news of his arrest reverberated through the media, leaving fans and critics alike in disbelief. The once prominent rapper had fallen from grace and his future hung in the balance. He currently awaits his day in court in Ascension Parish Jail. The charges against him paint a grim picture, one that is difficult to reconcile with the image of the artist we once knew. Mystical's legal troubles seem to be never-ending. The rapper faced a series of charges including false imprisonment, simple criminal damage to property, simple robbery, and first-degree rape. If convicted, he could face a mandatory life sentence. Who is Mystical? Mystical's journey in the music. Industry began with humble beginnings in his hometown of New Orleans, Louisiana. Born as Michael Lawrence Tyler on September 22, 1970, Mystical grew up in the vibrant atmosphere of the city's 12th Ward. However, tragedy struck at a young age when his father, who ran a small neighborhood store, passed away when Mystical was just seven years old. Despite this early loss, Mystical's passion for music started to blossom during his teenage years. He attended Cohen High School, where he honed his skills as an aspiring rapper. It was during this time that Mystical Mystical's talent caught the attention of music industry professionals. In the early 1990s, Mystical had the opportunity to open for renowned artists such as Run DMC and Doug E. Fresh at an outdoor concert held at the Treme Center. His electrifying performances showcased his raw talent and unique vocal style, leaving a lasting impression on those in attendance. Leroy Precise Edwards, the house producer for Big Boy Records, happened to be in the audience that day. Recognizing Mystical's potential, Edwards offered him a contract, marking the beginning of his professional music career. Mystical's debut album, simply titled Mystical, was released in 1994 under the New Orleans-based independent record label Big Boy. The album proved to be a major success, gaining significant attention and establishing Mystical as a rising star in the hip-hop scene. His distinct vocal delivery and energetic performances captivated audiences, setting him apart from his peers. Mystical's unique rasp and brash style became his trademark, earning him a loyal fan base. In 1995, Mystical found himself embroiled in a conflict with fellow New Orleans 
Bones rappers signed to rival Cash Money Records, including UNLV and the Bee Jesus. This rivalry led to diss tracks being exchanged, with UNLV releasing Drag Em In The River and the Bee Gees responding with Big Boy. Mystical retaliated with his own tracks, Beware and Here I Go, which were featured on his second album, Mind of Mystical. Tragically, Mystical's sister, Michelle Tyler, played a significant role in shaping his music. She lent her vocals to the chorus of his song, Not That Nigga. However, her untimely death in September 1994 had a profound impact on Mystical's music, inspiring him to create songs dedicated to her memory. Tracks such as Dedicated to Michelle Tyler, Murder, and Shine became poignant tributes to his beloved sister. Mystical's talent and unique style caught the attention of major record labels, leading to his signing with Jive Records. In 1995, he released his third album, Mind of Mystical, under Jive. The album showcased his growth as an artist and further solidified his position in the music industry. In 1996, Mystical made a significant career move by signing with Master P's No Limit Records. This partnership opened doors to new opportunities and collaborations with other artists signed to the label. Mystical's fourth album, Unpredictable, was released in November 1997, further expanding his fan base and solidifying his reputation as a formidable force in the hip-hop world. The album showcased his versatility as an artist, blending elements of hip-hop, R&B, and soul. It featured collaborations with fellow No Limit artists, including Master P, Silk the Shocker, and Mia X. The album's standout tracks, such as Ain't No Limit and The Man Right Chi, solidified Mystical's reputation as a dynamic and charismatic performer. Mystical's collaboration with Mariah Carey on her album Rainbow further showcased his versatility as an artist. The track Did I Do That highlighted his ability to seamlessly blend his unique style with Carey's melodic vocals, creating a memorable and infectious song. In 1998, Mystical released his fourth studio album, Ghetto Fabulous. The album featured collaborations with prominent artists such as Snoop Dogg, Busta Rhymes, and Outkast. Mystical's distinct vocal delivery and energetic performances shone through on tracks like That's the Nigga and I Get It Started. However, it was his fifth studio album, Let's Get Ready, released in 2000, that propelled Mystical to new heights of success. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart, solidifying his status as a chart-topping artist. The album's lead single, Shake Ya Ass, featuring Pharrell Williams, became an instant hit, reaching number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100. The infectious beat and catchy lyrics made it a club anthem and a staple on radio airwaves. Another standout track from the album was Danger Been So Long, featuring Nivea. The song showcased Mystical's ability to deliver rapid fire verses with his signature rasp, while Nivea's smooth vocals added a melodic touch. Danger Been So Long reached number 14 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, further solidifying Mystical's mainstream success. The success of Let's Get Ready earned Mystical critical, the acclaim, and numerous accolades. The album was nominated nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Rap Album in 2001, showcasing the industry's recognition of his talent and impact. Mystical's dynamic and energetic performances continued to captivate audiences, solidifying his reputation as a powerhouse in the hip-hop scene. During this period, Mystical also collaborated with other notable artists. He was prominently featured on Ludacris's hit single Move B in 2002, showcasing his ability to deliver memorable guest verses. Mystical's collaboration with Lil Jon and the East Side Boys on I Don't Give a F further showcased his versatility as an artist. However, amidst his rising success, Mystical faced legal troubles that would significantly impact his career. In 2003, he was indicted on charges of sexual battery and extortion. Mystical initially claimed the incident was consensual, but a videotape found at his home led to a plea bargain. In January 2004, he was sentenced to six years in prison after pleading guilty to forcing his hairstylist to perform sex acts. Mystical served his full sentence, remaining incarcerated until January 2010. Despite the challenges of his time behind behind bars, Mystical's passion for music remained unwavering. He made a triumphant comeback in 2010, headlining a concert on Mardi Gras at the Mahalia Jackson Theater of the Performing Arts. His first song after his release, I Don't Like You, was an underground track with former No Limit label mate Fiend. Mystical's return to the music scene was met with enthusiasm and anticipation from fans eager to witness his undeniable talent once again. In the years following his release, Mystical continued to collaborate with various artists, showcasing his versatility and enduring appeal. He worked with R&B artist Lloyd on the track Set Me Free and made a memorable appearance on Mark Ronson's hit song Feel Right from the album Uptown Special in 2014. Mystical's collaborations with Stevie Stone and Trinidad James further solidified his place in the contemporary music landscape. However, legal issues continued to haunt Mystical. In 2017, he was charged with rape and held on a $3 million bond. The charges were ultimately dismissed in 2020 due to a lack of evidence. Unfortunately, in July 2022, Mystical was arrested again 
on charges of domestic abuse, battery, and strangulation, among others. Despite the setbacks, Mystical's impact on the music industry remains undeniable. His unique style, raw energy, and unmistakable rasp continue to captivate audiences, making him a true icon in the world of hip-hop. Mystical's journey from a challenging upbringing in New Orleans to becoming a rap icon is a testament to his resilience and talent. Despite the loss of his father at a young age, Mystical's passion for music propelled him forward. His early career with Big Boy Records and the conflicts with rival rappers showcased his lyrical prowess and unique vocal delivery. Signing with Jive Records and later joining forces with No Limit Records marked significant milestones in Mystical's career. His albums, collaborations, and chart-topping hits solidified his status as a rising star. However, legal troubles and a six-year prison sentence tested his resolve. Yet Mystical's triumphant comeback in 2010 proved his unwavering dedication to music. Collaborations with notable artists and his electrifying performances showcased his enduring appeal. Mystical's story is one of resilience, talent, and the ability to overcome adversity. Despite the challenges he has faced, his impact on the music industry remains undeniable, making him a true legend in the world of hip-hop. With all that Mystical has been through, there are people who are still calling for his release. One such person is Master P, the legendary founder of No Limit Records, has taken a bold stance in the case of Mystical. In a recent performance at the Lovers and Friends Festival in Las Vegas, Master P passionately called for Mystical's release, captivating the crowd with his plea. The details surrounding the alleged sexual assault are still emerging, and the case has garnered significant attention from both the media and the public. Mystical has vehemently maintained his innocence, pleading not guilty to the charges. His defense attorney, Tiffany Miles Crosby, is working tirelessly to build a strong case and provide him with the best possible representation. The seriousness of the charges against Mystical cannot be understated. First-degree rape is a grave offense that carries severe consequences if convicted. The other charges, including false imprisonment and domestic abuse battery, further compound the gravity of the situation. Additionally, the possession of illegal substances adds another layer of complexity to the case. While the allegations against Mystical are shocking, it is important to remember that everyone is entitled to the presumption of innocence until proven guilty. The legal process will determine the truth, and Mystical's fate will ultimately be decided in a court of law. Master P's passionate call for Mystical's release has reverberated throughout the music industry and sparked a broader conversation about justice, loyalty, and the power of solidarity. As the founder of No Limit Records, Master P holds significant influence and his public support for Mystical has garnered attention from fans, fellow artists, and the media. In his recent performance at the Lovers and Friends Festival in Las Vegas, Master P took the stage and shouted, Free Mystical! The crowd erupted with cheers showing their support for the embattled rapper. Master P's call for release not only highlights his belief in Mystical's innocence, but also serves as a rallying cry for justice. The impact of Master P's call extends beyond the immediate show of support. It has reignited discussions about the criminal justice system and the challenges faced by artists in the spotlight. Mystical's case is just one example of the complexities surrounding the intersection of artistry and personal conduct. The music industry has a long history of grappling with the actions and behaviors of its artists. Some have been able to bounce back from legal troubles and continue their careers, while others have faced significant backlash and seen their careers come to a halt. Mystical's case raises questions about the public's perception of artists and their ability to separate the artists from their actions. The broader conversation surrounding Mystical's case also delves into the issue of loyalty. Master P's unwavering support for his collaborator showcases the bond that can exist within the music community. It highlights the importance of standing by one another, especially in times of adversity. However, it also raises questions about the responsibility of artists to hold each other accountable for their actions. Critics argue that supporting an artist facing serious charges sends the wrong message and undermines the experiences of the alleged victims. They believe that artists should be held to the same standards as anyone else and that their fame should not shield them from the consequences of their actions. On the other hand, supporters of Mystical and Master P argue that everyone deserves the presumption of innocence until proven guilty. They believe in standing by their favorite artists and allowing the legal process to unfold before passing. E. Judgment. They argue that public support can provide emotional and moral support to the accused, who may be facing a long and arduous legal battle. The impact of Master P's call for release goes beyond the courtroom. It has sparked conversations about the power dynamics within the music industry, the role of loyalty, and the complexities of separating the artists from their actions. As the trial date approaches, the public's attention will remain focused on the outcome and the implications it may have for Mystical's career and the broader conversation surrounding artists and accountability. Mystical's story is far from over. With the amount of trouble he seems to be in, I'm sure this isn't the last we would hear about Mystical. Click on the videos on your screen to enjoy similar content.